I was recently asked about creating leaders for data group annotations, and I learned a few things I thought I would share. First, I want to clarify that I'm talking about leaders for the automatic annotations that are generated by drawing rules. Now, for instance, you might want a leader connecting this equipment annotation that is set to offset from the ticket machine it belongs to. Or you may want to automatically generate a leader for an annotation that is placed on the object with no offsets, but may occasionally need to be moved, as is often the case with space annotations. The user wanted to have a leader automatically generate, in this case, to increase their productivity when modifying annotations on drawings. So let's go to the reference presentation settings where the rule for each of these annotations is defined. Let's start by editing the rule I created for the ticketing equipment. I'll go to Modify Rule, then Edit Rule. The rule uses the annotation cell that is defined here, and it is offset from the object by three feet below. Now those are real world units. This places the annotation cell offset from the origin of the item. These can be set to either the left or the right, and above or below. That is based on the zero rotation of the item. If the item is rotated in the model, the annotation cell location will rotate with the object. Now, to generate a leader line, I just need to toggle on the Create Leader Line option and set the symbology. And now, a leader line will be generated between the origin of the item and the annotation cell. I can save my changes, update the rule, and select OK to update the drawing. Now there are leader lines generated between the annotation and the object. I can even select the annotation and use the leader handles to modify the location of the leader or the annotation cell. Now let's also edit the space rule. Now this one's a little different because generally we want the label to be placed at the center of the space with no offset. We just want the ability to generate a leader if we need to move the cell out of the space. I'll go to Modify Rule, then Edit Rule. Again, the annotation cell is already defined, and this time there is no offset defined because generally I want the space labels at the center of the space. I'll toggle on Create Leader Line and set the symbology. Now I will save my changes, select Update, and then select OK. The annotations rebuild but no leaders are generated since there is no offset. But note now that if I select one of the space labels, there is a new handle in the center of the label. If I use the handle to move the label, a leader line is automatically generated. Now that's great and would really improve productivity, but the leader generates from the center of the cell, and I would prefer it did not cover the space number, and I might also want a terminator on the leader, and there was not an option for a terminator in the rule. But I think I came up with a solution. I created a custom line style with a terminator built in and a bit of a gap at the start of the line so that it leaves a little blank area. So let me show you. Let's reset this annotation and go back to edit the drawing rule one more time. Under the leader symbology, I'm going to select the custom line style. I created two, leader with arrow and leader with dot. I'll select leader with arrow. This line style resource library is available for download from the corresponding wiki on Bentley Communities. Now we'll update one more time. Again, I will use the handle to move the label, and now I have an arrow and a bit of a gap from the start of the leader, just what I wanted. One last tip. You may need to move labels within a space. You can still do this without generating a leader, just use the move tool and not the handle.
Leaders are only generated when you use the handle to move the label. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.